Hi everyone, I uh, just want to talk you through uh, how to do project management using Trello.com. Uh, Trello's a brilliant tool that you can use online to, uh, to manage all those projects and it's absolutely free, which is always nice. Um, so uh, I'm just going to do a beginner setup on, on quickly how to, uh, how to do those projects. Uh, so if you go to Trello.com, up the top there you see, and then I've skipped past the, the, uh, the um, register screen, but it is as simple as put your email address in and your name, it's not asking you for anything more than that. Um, and then it'll open up the uh, the main screen. If it, if it recognises your email to your Gravatar, it'll put um, it, that avatar in there. You can change it so it just shows your initials if you want. I'll leave it with my picture. Uh, first thing you want to do, I believe, is set up an organisation. You might want to use Trello for personal stuff. So if it's a, um, a business that you're using, then you might, you're going to want to set up an organisation. So it's easy enough to do. You just go to New Organisation. Uh, and if you know any of my other videos, I pretend to be a security company because that's the companies I use uh, that I generally work with a lot. You can put a description if you want to. So I just put Blue Jeans Security and in it comes. The next thing you do is create a new board. So simply click My Old Boards, New Board, and I'm going to call this Install Status install job status, whatever you want to call it, and it'll automatically uh, bump you straight into the first of your, your boards. This is where all your lists are. You know, some of you might use little tea boards, little tea cards in a, on a wall somewhere. Some people might use a whiteboard somewhere, or just, you know, I might even use a program. But this is obviously taking it to a cloud. First one you want to check is that this says uh, organization visible, org visible, or private to members of this board. I wouldn't leave it public. So it's going to set up first things as three uh, to-do things, to-do lists. Uh, you're going to want to change that to whatever your uh, your current statuses are. I mean, you might have a, a program that tracks statuses of jobs, or you might have certain statuses for a project. So you simply type over the top of those. So I'm going to change these to the statuses that most of the companies I work with use. Uh, deposit required. Parts on order, and then simply to add as you go along. Uh, sorry, this should be parts to order. So you can see it's very easy to go back and just change anything that you might have done. Parts on order, ready to start. Job booked in. And I'm just going to stop you and I'll skip as I've entered all these in. Right, so I've now entered all the um, the different lists that I have for um, for job statuses uh, for the security companies that I work with. Uh, so you'll see all the way from new working to finish to bill. I mean, you might want to use a Trello board for your quotes, your know, new quotes, uh, customer call, customer meeting, you know, quote prepared. All that sort of stuff. So it's obviously it's a it's a, a left to right theme that you basically take all your jobs from the left to the right. Um, so once those are in, I realise you might be a little um, small, so I can zoom in and zoom out on that, depending on what I want to do. Uh, so the next thing I want to do is start adding jobs. Um, it's really up to you what format you use, depending on what you usually track. Normally we usually track a job number, uh, a customer. Uh, and I usually go to Wikipedia to find some random customer, Brick Fiesta, I've never heard of it, but, and they might want a burger alarm, and you might want to put a, a, a pound dollar value there, uh, anything, you can add whatever you really need to in there, and just click add. So new working, and there's the project. Then, uh, as you're setting it up, you might want to have labels, um, you might want to change labels, so I'm going to say, the greens, burger alarms. This is good for filtering jobs later. Yellow CCTV. The orange is card access. Red can be fire alarms. Intercoms. 
and other. So you can see um, I assigned it burglar alarms because that's what it is. Uh, oh, I'll let them assign it. And it just sends that to green at the top. Uh, I'll add another one quickly. If you go random, <laughs> I'll take this. Flower. Uh, so this might be 778. Uh, that might be new fire alarm. I don't know, five thousand pound. Is that a good price for a fire alarm? And then you can quickly label it fire alarm. So basically, that's as easy as to add a card. I'm going to add a load more cards, and then I'm going to start throwing them around and assigning people to them, and just showing you the funky stuff it can do. So I'm going to populate this. Okay, so I added a few more cards, a few more uh, jobs, uh, like I say, fictitious jobs. Uh, so now we're going to basically just assign them whatever status they are. So all you simply do is select your job, you know, hover over it, grab it, and then drop it on whatever. So if we go through Brick Fiesta, I'm going to say that job's ready to start. Oh. It'll be this job's waiting for deposit, this job is booked in. Slow Jam CCTV is uh, back and started. I have to apologise. I'm using my mouse pad on the uh, on the uh, on the MacBook, and they've just changed it, so it's not working as well as it used to. So this job's booked in. This part parts in order. Uh, maybe this job listed magazine is finished. Waiting to bill. Back across. Um, fact, if I zone out, I'd be able to see all of them. You might not be able to see the actual writing brilliantly. Uh, maybe that's work started. And maybe you want to put the um, the more important jobs to the top, uh, ones that prioritise to get finished. Uh, but you can see it's really easy to just start throwing those around. So once that you've got um, all your jobs in the fields you want to in. I'm just going to zoom in again. So then you can start assigning um, staff members to to these different uh, items. So for instance, this one here, uh, deposit required is going to be down to the accounts department. So we're going to go over and click add members uh, and you type in the member's email address. I'm going to type in one. It's going to try and find it. If it's already in the system, it will find um, find them and say they're already there. If they're not, they'll say, do you want to invite this person? And I'm going to call that person that accounts and say yes. So that will send an email to um, to finance at bluejeansmedia.com uh, and obviously the person will just accept it and create an account. When they come to this board, they'll see that they've been assigned a job. So all you've got to do to assign that is drag accounts across and just drop it on there. And that instantly assigns the person in accounts I mean, there might be a person's name rather than account to that job. And also, because we know, right, come on, finish to build probably accounts as well, so drop them on there. Um, it's as easy as that. If I had a proper mouse, it would be a little bit easier. Um, you know, this, this might, you might want to put, um, maybe this is me, maybe you want to put me in there as a salesman. You know, so they know. So if you've got two or three different salesmen, you just you can assign which salesman's um, actually uh, sold that job. I'm going to put in. I'm going to give it a mark. If I wanted to assign a technician, I'm going to call this technician Mark at BlueJeansMedia.com, which is, again doesn't exist. Uh, well, he shouldn't exist. I'm not quite sure why he thinks it's found him. Uh, call it, I'll have the James then. Uh, blue. It's media. That I don't want to. So there you go. James Smith might be a technician. So I'm going to assign him. He's going to get an email address. Uh, then you're going to maybe he's been assigned this job that's work started. He might have been assigned this job work started. Oh, I missed that. Oh, it doesn't like it, does it? You can also go to assign that way. 
don't know why it wasn't quite taken. Something funky, a little bit adding with chrome. Um, and so you can just keep dropping them in there. Maybe I am helping him on that job. Um, and so on. So it's really easy to assign people jobs and assign. Uh, so, for instance, these might be, uh, I don't know, is a Simon? This might be the inventory manager. So, uh, that might be your inventory manager. So, parts on order. Your inventory manager is going to be assigned to that. Oh, I just clicked on that. Obviously, parts to order. The inventory manager is going to be assigned to that. So then, your inventory manager, or whoever's, uh, depending on which um, which column you're in, which list you're in. You know, so for instance, your accounts. Um, people might log in, and, and that person's paid. So you just drag it across to parts to order. But you might have a you might have a list there that says check parts, and then your inventory manager says it's parts are on order or parts need to be ordered. Um, and you can then assign, uh, you can unassign accounts and you can assign the uh, inventory manager. So then that'll change to who's now in charge of it. And the beauty of that is when it, people come in to, uh, to look at what they're expected to do the other day or what's assigned to them, you can filter. So you can see the labels that we filtered to. So I can just show the burglar alarms or the, the burglar alarms on the card access or just the card access jobs. Uh, fire alarms for clear filters or I could say if I was the inventory manager I could say just show me what's got my name on it or accounts but just that one so that's a, a, a nice easy way that you can assign members of staff um, to each job and be able to track them and then once you've, you're all up and running, you can actually click on each of these jobs and start adding comments. You know, this, what's this? Uh, do file alarm, um, parts to order, uh, I don't know, waiting for part numbers. So you can leave a comment. Then your inventory manager might log in and say, yeah, I've got your part numbers. I've ordered it and move it on. You can... Um, Attach files, so you can come here and attach a file from maybe your computer. I'm not sure how quickly this will do it. Uh, so you might attach a picture, and that'll actually show on there that it's a file alarm. You might, you know, that might be a picture of whatever the new product is you're selling or um, company logo, anything you might do. You might want to attach um, PDFs. You might want to do the worksheet, the information, the customer information, a copy of the quote anything like that you know you can really add it on there so that when the when anybody logs in anywhere in the world really you don't have to the beauty of this is people will see it moving and things changing live wherever they're logged in even in the same building upstairs downstairs you can you can actually access all that information that you need uh, you can you can easily uh, access maybe a, a YouTube video you know, you just all you got to do is house in Europe. Go in, uh, write a comment, and just share the link. Oh, and comment, and that'll actually pop that in there, the YouTube video, so you can view that. That might be a training video. That might be some I don't know directions to the job. Anything you can imagine. It's uh, it's really wide open to whatever you want it to do. You can add a due date on there. You say that's got to be finished by a certain time. Um, and as you can see, there's just plenty of things you can do to, to play with it and, and uh, add anything as you go. So it really is um, a nice, free, online cloud uh, that is private, so people won't see uh, that what you've uh, put on there as long as you make sure that they can't. Uh, but absolutely brilliantly uh, and it's free that you can just you know literally just drag and drop things around as things move on drag it across finish the bill and then finally your accounts departments um, your accounts departments been assigned to that whether they have or not they log in and once they've billed it 
they simply archive and away it goes into your archived lists because it's been built it's now dropped off and all you're left with is your open jobs and um, and that's it really that's it you know it's a fantastic um, online tool to use for anything you can use it for to-do lists for your own personal to-do lists uh, and anything else really to do with your business I think it's it's great to get rid of a lot of paper and it's great to share uh, and collaborate with all your uh, your other members of staff or consultants or anybody who, who, uh, who you work with to to share that information so hopefully you enjoyed that uh, give me a, uh, a comment or, or send me an email if you've got any questions and I'll hopefully be able to answer them until next time thanks.